Hello everyone, in this short video I want to show you how to scatter objects onto another object using the built-in scatter add-on. First you need to enable this add-on so go to edit preferences add-on and search for scatter and then you can enable it. If you are using Blender 2.9 then you also need to go to the interface and check these developer extras. This is an important step because this add-on is only available through search which can be accessed through space or F3 depending on your setting. So if you search for this add-on, uh, there it is. And in 2.9 the developers changed the search to not include any operator which is not available through the menus. And this add-on is not added to any menu so it's not available by default but with developer extras you have it so if I turn off developer extras and then search for it it's gone so I have to turn it on now so let's start scattering so I made this scene with some rocks and a ground object with some mud and dirt and I want to scatter these rocks on this uh, ground object so what I need to do is to select all the rocks and in the end I select the object that I want to scatter on and then I go to my search and then select scatter objects. So now with right mouse click I can start to draw on my object and it will show me uh, where it will place the scattered objects uh, with these cubes but these are just proxies and then I can go to this uh, settings and object scatter and here I can adjust some settings for this uh, scattering operation. The settings are really simple. Density controls the number of objects. Radius controls that how close the objects will follow the drawn line. Scale controls the overall scale and randomness introduces some randomness into the size of the objects. Rotation can also be changed and this is a nice option. It will use the normal of the surface to rotate the objects. Uh, offset is how far the objects are from the surface and it uses the normal of the surface. Seed can be used to regenerate uh, the scattering. I just want to decrease the density a little bit, increase the radius to scatter them a bit more and once I'm happy with my settings I will press enter to confirm and then I can see the result of the scattering. One small point to keep in mind is that this add-on copies your uh, scatter objects uh, to the origin and then use those as a reference to duplicate objects uh, around your ground. So you need to move your ground away from the center or you can also hide them before rendering. One last thing before I sign off. If you want to change the transformation of one of the rocks, uh, what you can do is that to select and then object, apply and then make instances real. So this will remove the object uh, from the instances and make it a real object. This will increase your file size but you can use it to uh, transform the object freely. So that's it for this video. As you have seen this was a really easy and quick way to do some scattering. Until next time. Bye bye.